Hello, I'm Mike Rao, and this video, hold on, my fan's on. My bad audience, I thought I turned it off. For some reason, I didn't pay attention. Anyway, uh, this video I want to talk to you guys about is a little different. It is a Naruto video, but at the same time, it's a little different. It's Naruto and archetypes of abuse and trauma. Now, I know you're thinking, okay, who cares? Well, I do, for one. And two, it depends on the characters. Each of the characters actually reflect a very specific type of abuse victims or trauma victims. And how they react and how what they do is kind of almost like it fits almost in a perfect slot. So it's kind of cool. Okay, the first person I would talk about is Hinata. <clears throat> for those who don't know, uh, Hinata Hyuga is a prince, basically the princess of her clan. <clears throat> she is very sweet and very kind to fight her clan being very cold and very um, proper. Um, Hinata, because of the abuse of her family, specifically her father and her cousin Neji, <clears throat> who might as well be her brother, but anyway, because of all that, Hinata has no self-confidence, no self-esteem, no sense of self-worth. She fixates on Naruto to an extreme, it's going as far as to stalk him, to make uh, cookies and little stuck things that look like him, um, fainting whenever he's around, daydreaming around him, and not being able to do anything really around him, stuttering to the point where she can't even talk. It's the point where it's actually a disability. She has no anything. Like she's she's almost a very empty person. She can't function really in reality, and she fails and fails and fails so often because of her lack of self confidence that every failure is like a time bomb. No, it's a bomb. To, it's like a tick time bomb, making it worse and worse and worse. Hinata is also a pacifist. She hates hurting people. She hates thinking that she's done something wrong. She she can't deal with it. Hinata is extremely emotionally stunted. She's a very intelligent person. Very skilled, too, but very emotionally stunted. The next person I want to talk about is uh, Sakura. Now, Sakura, I hate Sakura. I despise her. But she's also an abuse victim. Not of her family, but of other children. Sakura was constantly being abused for her forehead. Being very, it was very wide and very prominent, so she was picked on quite often. And um, as she got older, she ended up, uh, first off, abandoning her first friend, you know, for a boy who she, again, fixated on to an extreme level, to the point where she didn't train as a ninja at all, which really, really hurt her throughout the series. <clears throat> so much, actually, even throughout the series, she was extremely abusive to Naruto, who, yes, he asked her out. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm recovering from a uh, flu. She was extremely abusive to Naruto. Uh, she was extremely obsessed with Sasuke. Even, you know, even as she trained and she became a very powerful person, she's still obsessed about him. Even when he tried to kill her, she ends up marrying him after a series of abusive things. So, yeah, Sakura, not alright in the head. <clears throat> There's also, uh, she's actually got a split personality called Inner Sakura, which you act was actually a real thing. It does go away throughout the series, uh, the first part of the series. It's there. And it's like, it shows that mm, she's not all there. The next abuse victim, or trauma victim, would be child uh, Kakashi. Now, Kakashi is Naruto and Sakura's teacher, and Sasuke's teacher, and I pick him as a child because he's, he's a very different as a child than he's an adult. As a child, he cuts himself off from everybody, being a stickler for the rules, uh, this, is after, this is after his father dies. <clears throat> you know, he, he trained to report an obsession, which he fixates on, and, you know, kind of being an overall jerk. He, he doesn't care for others, and it's, no one doesn't care for him. He can't care. He kind of says, I can't care. It'll hurt more. So, he just doesn't care. Um, this is when confronted, he kind of snaps <clears throat> a little bit, and then eventually helps uh, Naruto, and then later, after losing you know, his two friends, he wallows, a three friend, and his teacher, he wallows in self-pity to the point where even for 15, even for 13 years afterwards, <coughs> I'm sorry, he emulates his friend Obito uh, to a point. Like he, he's poor in public because he just, well, he's weird like that. But he also stands, he's also three hours late to everything because he is always looking at the memorial stone, kind of wallowing in self pity of all the stupid shit he done. Instead of, you know, being powerful or, you know, growing up or helping his students, which he also fixates on one of those. Sasuke, he fixates on him and abandons the others because Sasuke reminds him of Obito and Uchiha. Even though, <clears throat> sorry, Sasuke acts more like him. 
Uh, the next person is Neji. Neji is the rager. He is, uh, he lost his father, he's abused by the main house, he's tortured, literally, and he's a genius. He feels stifled. So all of this kind of add up to a person who's extremely hateful to everybody, but he's not internally hateful like other people, Sasuke, for example. <clears throat> He's very outwardly hateful. He is aggressive and cruel and mean. By the way, I forgot to say, Sakura's also a bully, but that's a, like she bullies Naruto and demeans him, but that's a totally different subject. I've forgotten to say that in a why. <clears throat> anyway, Neji does that too. He also bullies people. He's, when I bring it up, he bullies his teammate Lee. He's extremely abusive to his cousin, Hinata, who really was innocent. She, she was kidnapped when she was three, and that's why his father died. Don't ask us the whole subject about that. <clears throat> so he hates the main house, which I would too if I were him. Because they are slavers, the, they treat him like a slave. <laughs> and he, but, he's all, but he misdirects all this hatred to her, to Hinata. You know, he shows no sign of intel, uh, like of comprehensive uh, development, very little emotional development, very cool, very cool person. Um, and he fixates on improving himself and hating other people and meaning them, including his teammate Lee, who actually has a buttload of potential. <clears throat> It takes Naruto beating the crap out of him to get him to grow up, and even then, he's still kind of a cold person. Um, the next person that I'm going to talk about would be Naruto. No, not Naruto. Sasuke. Sasuke first. Sasuke is the brooder. He basically kind of loathes everything, but he's quiet about it. He fixates on his brother, who killed his entire family, but even then, he did fixate on his brother in a different way. <coughs> oh, sorry, Sasuke was. Itachi, his brother, was almost like a like a like a father to him. So there was kind of like a Oedipus thing. Instead of his mother was his father, I'm not really sure what to call that. Um, it wasn't romantic love, but it was obsession. He wanted to basically overshadow like his brother overshadowed him. His brother's a genius. So Sasuke kind of hated that, even though he did love his brother. But when his brother died, <clears throat> so when his brother um killed his family, he started hating on his brother point where he abandoned his village, killed his best friend, attempted to kill his best friend so that his eyes would you know, evolve, get more power, um, <clears throat> he showed extremely sociopathic tendencies, actually psychopathic tendencies at first, um, when he killed his brother, well his brother died of illness, but whatever, uh, when he killed, when he found out the truth about his brother's like, past, like why his brother would kill his family, he decided to kill the village instead, and that's when he started some sociopathic tendencies, as, um, as like, a so a person sociopath and psychopath. A sociopath can't, um, <clears throat> they know the difference between right and wrong, they just don't care. A psychopath doesn't know the difference, they can't understand the difference. And that's when he starts showing psychopathic tendencies. He will kill anybody, he, the entire village, even children, even though people were born way before, <clears throat> have the incident, people who don't know about the incident. People who really are not involved, who really don't deserve to, to die. So, uh, Sasuke is a um, very interesting character, I personally don't like him, um, but he fixates. Um, on everything, and he's kind of a sheep. He doesn't really make a lot of decisions for himself. Um, every, if he is offered power, if he's offered something, he kind of just goes to that person, and he really doesn't think for it for himself very much. He, he just broods and whines and bitches. Um, <clears throat> the next person I wrapped up is Naruto. Naruto is probably the most dangerous example, uh, because he's the most dangerous person. Naruto... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm recovering like I said from a flu and I feel like crap but I'm almost better hopefully in the next few days I really do apologize anyway Naruto um fixates like everyone else on the Hokage position now the reason I had to mention that first before I mention anything else is the Hokage position is a position of love and leadership and everybody kind of respects you and wants you it's also you're also physically the most powerful typically um <clears throat> and the thing is Naruto doesn't do anything to achieve this he just kind of runs his mouth he doesn't really ever help himself, and he's kind of a sheep. <clears throat> um, he was abused by everybody, neglected by everybody, treated like garbage by everybody, to the point where he kind of just, he just wants everybody's love. At first it kind of showed like he was kind of a jerk, <clears throat> he pranked to get attention, and, but when Naruto deviates where it gets just dangerous, it's more self, like dangerous to himself. It's his, and he's, he was never willing to kill someone. Now, most people goes, uh, well, most people don't want to kill, well, he's a ninja, one. And two, even in self-defense, Naruto couldn't do that. Naruto was so, he hated himself so much, and, and it's clear he does, that he actually would never, like, he would never accept striking back. <clears throat> you know, even if he was hurt, even if someone tortured and raped him, he wouldn't fight back. He'd fight back, but he wouldn't kill the person no matter what they did. <laughs> and this is a fault of Naruto's, a pretty 
big, big fault. And he allows everyone to walk over him. He allows people who should be helping him, taking care of him, really just to walk over him and neglect him. So it's, it's kind of a weird relationship Naruto has with everybody. And Naruto also obsesses about everybody, about Sakura at first, and then Sasuke, uh, Sakura to love, and Sasuke to bring him back to the village. Um, he believes that he's a failure, even though Sasuke willingly left. And there's other things, though. It's like, <clears throat> Naruto's really... He's, he's, he's a kinetic learner, which means he learns with his body. He learns through trial and error, actually doing something and failing it. Um, which is actually a really strong way to learn. So, yeah, at the same time, he can't understand really simple things. Because um, he's kind of an idiot. <clears throat> but the thing is, he never really does anything to help himself. Ever, but the village. Uh, and that's the history of the, 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 the series and... Honestly, I think he'd be the worst leader they've ever had because he's not willing to sacrifice people. If you're a leader, in order to save your entire people or the majority of your people, you do have to sacrifice people. That's a common, really common thing. Um, he doesn't have that kind of personality. Naruto also has this kind of thing where he kind of manipulates people, but it's never for a, a cruel reason. He kind of just makes people believe what he believes through a determination and kind of some stalkish behavior, and it's kind of weird. And I say stalkish behavior as in he just kind of pesters you until you say yes. Um, and he's also <clears throat> an enabler. Like, you could be the worst person in the world, but if he likes you, you can do anything. He doesn't care. You can rape a puppy. And a baby. And then kill both. I wouldn't care. He might yell at you, but if he really likes you, he doesn't give a shit. Um, <sighs> so yeah, those are the types of... Um, used archetypes, um, they are real, believe it or not. All of them have things in common, like fixation, and suppressed emotions. Actually, Naruto's emotions are so suppressed, it actually creates an alter ego. <coughs> called Dark Naruto. Totally different subject, but it's there. <clears throat> so, thank you guys for watching. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, and, you know, really, look at these things. Look them up. Look up different archetypes of abused characters, uh, of abused people, and I'm not going to give you the names. The reason I'm not giving you the names is I want you to look for them. I don't want to say they're like this particular archetype, and what will happen is people will go, of course, either see things that aren't there, or they'll overlook it. So what I want you to do is just look up yourself. Type in different types of things, different personality types, type in abuse victims, and kind of match the characters around. You'll find it. You'll find it. By the way, Lee, for those of you know, Lee's very similar to Naruto. Almost the same, actually. The difference is he's unwilling to kill. But <clears throat> So, you know, there's more type archetypes, there's more diversity, there's more to the spectrum, these are the most common types, and they're also in a lot of movies and book series and anime, and you'll see them all over the place, really, even in real life, even in real life. You'll see these people, you'll talk to them, you'll interact with them. So, yeah, that's my video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button, comment, section, uh, comment, comment, comment in the comment section below. I can't talk. Uh, I open my Twitter in the description box, and have a nice day. Bye, guys. Bye.